Hi everyone, it's Derek from Nine D Diagnostics. Um, we have a customer's car in a workshop this morning, complaining of a groaning noise coming when they're driving. Brought this car for a test drive, and we could definitely hear the noise. Um, straight away, it sounded like a wheel bearing. So we got the car back up on into the workshop and up onto the ramp, um, and then spin the wheels. Um, the passenger rear wheel, we have a grinding noise coming from it, um, which indicates that the wheel bearing has failed. Um, but on inspection, we noticed that the, the nut that holds the wheel bearing in was over tightened. Um, on this particular car, it's a tapered wheel bearing um, and you don't over tighten them. And what happens is it, it, it basically just destroys um, the nut. So we're checking the driver's side to see if that's been over tightened. Um, so we're going to take it over now and have a look. And uh, let's see if the last garage um, didn't make too much of a mess. So we're over to the driver's side. Um, this is what it looks like put together. So this is your, your rear drum, your shoes are inside here, and this is the, the nut. There's a little there's a little pin that goes through here. We've removed the pin. Um, so this should be tightened really with the channel locks. Um, you tighten it up and then you, you back it up a small bit and you should only have a little bit of play in, in the wheel when it's back together. That way there's enough room for expansion for when it heats up. So this should, when I pull on this, should be able to um, open with this channel locks. Let's see. No. Nope. No. Nope. It's not going to budge. So um, let's try a power bar and see if a power bar actually opens this. Okay, so we have the power bar on. And let's see how much we have to put on this to open it. There we go. Oh, she's there to go. Oh, there, there we go. A bit of force there. That is a major amount that that's been tightened. Um, more than likely, there's damage done to this wheel bearing. Um, there's no noise, but we're going to be recommended to the customer um, to replace both sides. Definitely the passenger side, um, and we'll give the option of replacing this side. Um, but um, yeah, it, ju it just goes to show you, leaving your car in with, with, um, with certain places, this is what happens. Over 300 euro was spent in this car, and they've caused another issue.